Here are four examples of heroes in the Bible that influenced me. David versus Goliath. The story of David and Goliath is probably the most famous hero story of all time because so many people can relate to the little guy defeating the big guy. Goliath was a giant Philistine who was an arrogant bully. He felt that his size, strength, and bad attitude gave him the right to insult David's people and David's God. David defeated him in one-on-one -on -one battle, proving that the little guy always has a chance against the bully if he uses the tools at his disposal and if he is standing up for what is right. Moses versus Pharaoh. The Hebrews had become well-established and wealthy owners of land by the time this particular pharaoh reached the throne of Egypt. Pharaoh used population control as his excuse to turn the Hebrew people into the slaves in Egypt. Moses stood up as the hero of his people and with divine help, he delivered them from slavery and led them to the edge of the land that they still occupy today. Samson versus Philistines. The Philistines were a ruthless people who ruled by oppression and the extraction of large amounts of resources from vulnerable, weaker cultures. Samson was raised up by God and given superhuman strength in order to protect the Hebrew people from total domination by the Philistines. Samson became a one-man army as he fearlessly defended his people from large groups of enemy soldiers. Daniel versus Pagan Religious Law. At this time, the nation of Persia instituted a time in which only the king could be worshipped as a god. This violated Daniel's and other people's freedom to worship openly according to their consciences. Daniel faced death in the lion's den and was miraculously preserved in order to restore the freedom of religion and freedom to worship openly for all people. Here are five examples of heroes in civil rights that influenced me. Martin Luther King Jr. versus the system of hatred. The system of hatred for colored people at that time required the segregation of black and white people in public spaces. This open discrimination against his people inspired Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to adopt a policy of peaceful protests that helped lead to the desegregation of the places in America that still insisted on judging other people by the color of their skin. I am where I am today because Martin Luther King Jr. chose to die so that black people could live in a system based on racial equality for all. Mahatma Gandhi versus British rulers. Through exploitation of India's resources, racism against dark-skinned people, and religious oppression, the British rulers maintained power over India. Mahatma Gandhi used active resistance and peaceful protests to inspire his people to attain their independence and gain their freedom. Corrie ten Boom versus Hitler's eugenics programs. Leading up to and during World War II, Adolf Hitler led in the extermination of six million Jews as well as untold amounts of other victims that he sent to the gas chambers or killed in other ways. Corrie ten Boom and her family hid and protected Jews that were to be killed by the Nazi regime. Although she ended up in prison, she survived and inspired many others to be heroic in the face of government persecution of innocent people. Abraham Lincoln versus the South. Greed led to the enslavement of colored people, then continued to motivate the southern states to maintain slavery even when the northern states had abolished slavery. As the 16th President of the United States of America, Abraham Lincoln knew that it was his duty to unite the United States by eliminating slavery in all states. 
This led to the civil war between the northern and southern states, but ultimately accomplished his purpose of having America truly stand for freedom and justice for all. Harriet Tubman versus the abuse of slavery. The abuse of slavery was rampant as slaves were considered cheap labor. African Americans were viewed as less than human at the time that Harriet Tubman escaped from slavery. She inspired many others by using the network system called the Underground Railroad to complete 13 missions to rescue approximately 70 enslaved people and lead them to freedom. Here are two examples of heroes in religious liberty that influenced me. Martin Luther versus the religious political system. The religious political system at that time was spiritually and legally oppressive to the people in other religions that did not conform to all church views of worship. Martin Luther started the Protestant Reformation preaching that the just shall live by faith and advocating for a personal relationship with God that did not require a pastor or a priest to intercede. He inspired the world to understand the value of the separation of church and state. He believed that churches and governments must allow for each individual's personal religious convictions to be practiced and respected instead of persecuted and denied. Desmond Doss versus Fellow Soldiers Desmond Doss's fellow soldiers initially believed that he should carry a gun for protection of himself and them in battle. As a conscientious objector, it was against his personal and religious convictions to kill, so he was initially targeted and harassed while he served as a combat medic with an infantry company in World War II. Doss distinguished himself and gained their respect, however, in the Battle of Okinawa by saving 75 men and becoming the only conscientious objector to receive the Medal of Honor for his actions during the war. Here are two examples of heroes in medicine that influenced me. Ben Carson versus the medical industry. Racism in the education system and in the medical industry discouraged many aspiring young African Americans from pursuing medical careers at the time that Ben Carson decided to become a neurosurgeon. Overcoming all racial obstacles, Ben Carson, at the age of 33, was named the youngest director of pediatric neurosurgery in the United States. He was most famous for separating the conjoined binder twins and performing the first successful brain surgery on a baby in the womb, thus inspiring many African Americans to pursue careers saving lives as surgeons and doctors. Louis Pasteur versus Germs Disease and death were running rampant in the 1800s. Louis Pasteur discovered the germ theory of disease and created the process of pasteurization that heated liquid foods and juices in order to kill germs and preserve their shelf life. His discovery prevented disease and starvation across the world, saving millions of lives, and pasteurization is still used to preserve food and prevent disease today. Here are two examples of heroes in sports that influenced me. Jesse Owens versus Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler believed in creating a master race of Caucasian people and enslaving or eliminating every other race of people. Jesse Owens won four gold medals at the 1936 Olympic Games against Hitler's best athletes. Owens specialized in the sprints and the long jump. He opened the door for African-American athletes and people to be recognized as fully capable human beings who could compete at the highest levels if given the opportunity. Michael Jordan versus Detroit Pistons. The Detroit Pistons believed that the only way that they could win championships was to play dirty, intimidate and injure their opponents, and maintain a bad boy image. 
Michael Jordan was a hero to the game of basketball and to all sports by proving that working hard, developing unique skills, playing hard, bringing excitement to the fans, and respecting the rules of the game was the only true formula for growing the league and maintaining his legacy as the greatest basketball player of all time.